All right, guys. Today we'll be looking at statistics and probability. It won't be a long video. All right. So his first one says, "Remember, guys, pause the video and attempt the questions. These are multiple choice questions. You shall take away the answers because I want to bring out the critical thinking in you guys. All right. I don't want you guys to just look at the answer and say, oh, it must be this or that. I want you guys to reason it out and have that kind of background. All right. So he says, of 120 students writing an exam, 100 are expected to pass. What is the probability expected to fail? So let us look at it. So 100 persons. So we have a total of 120. And 100 is expected to pass. So it means that 20 persons are expected to fail. So that's the first thing. Right? So we're going to take this 20 that expected to fail out of the 120, which is the original, right? And then we break down that, and that will give us the probability that expected to fail. So bam, 22, 1, 26, 1, 12, 6. So 1, 6 are expected to fail. So that's the probability, 1, 6. All right, number 2 says, we give you these numbers and it says what is the probability a student chosen at random as a marker less than five marks so first thing we have to do is to add up the total number we have to add up the total number of students and to deliberate you have to win that's a five and two seven ten twenty thirty all right so this seems like 50 students so it's a total of 50 students now let us look at the mark less than 5. So, you never said less than or equal to 5, you said less than. So, 4, go down, right? So we can add these numbers. So, 4 and 6, 10. 3 and 2, 5, that's 15, and that's 20. So, 20 out of 50. We can break it down. So, that's 250. That's our answer. All right, this one says we're given these numbers 2, 5, 9, 8, 7, 8, 8, and they ask the modal score is now the mode is the one that occur most frequent or the most times, Jamaican time style occur the most. So, 8 occur three times, so the answer is 8. Alright, let's continue. So number four says, in a class of 30 students, 40% are boys. What is the probability of choosing a girl at random? So this question can be a little bit tricky, but just take out the key points then and focus, right? So we know that the total is 30 students, right? So now it gives us 40% are boys. So we need to find 40% or we can just find 60% of this and that will equal to the girls. So we could just do it this way. If 40% are boys, then you have 60% girls because if it's not a boy, it's a girl. And if there's some country will say you can be a boy and a girl. So it's a 60% of 30. So that works out to 18. So there are 18 girls in the class. So all we have to do now is to say, you can, you can pick anyone out of the 18. So you have 18 options out of a total of 30 students. So then we can break down this. 6 into that goes 3 times. 6 into this goes 5 times. So it means 3 fifths are girls. The probability is 3 fifths. That means for boys, it would be 1 minus 3 fifth. So for boys, it would be 2 fifth. Alright, on to number 5. Number 5 says, if the mean of 4 numbers, 4, 8, x and 12 is 10, then x is equal to... Alright, let us approach this. To calculate the mean, we, we sum the 4 numbers. So let us do that. So it would be 4 yeah. plus 8 plus yeah. 12 plus x. Divide by 4, and that will be equal to 10, right? 
so we can just go so all right so it will be four plus eight we can just get rid of this or time it by four so this is four plus eight plus twelve plus x is equal to forty and now we can just total this eight plus because remember it all four of them give us 40 and we divide by 4 to give us 10. So 8 plus 12 is 20, so that's 24 plus x is equal to 40. So it simply means x will be equal to 40 minus 24. So x is equal to 16. Alright guys, we're just working back with. Alright guys, let's move on to number 6 and it says what is the median now the median the median is the middle number after arranging in ascending or descending most students prefer ascending so ascending means from the smallest to the largest again guys remember to try it before you watch the video all right so it would be arranging them is two then three Customers go along in exam. It's so easy to make mistake under pressure. So just do that, guys. And then 12. So we say 1 from here, 1 go here, 2, 2. So the median is 8. 8 is in the middle. Alright. I deliberately look for this one. Same thing. Find the median. And it's a even number so what's the difference still arrange them in ascending order so let's go four six or oh, eight next ten twelve and twenty right all right so now we're gonna end up with what what's the difference gonna end up with two numbers in the middle now all you have to do is to sum the two numbers say to the 8 plus 10 because what will happen we want to find halfway between it so 8 plus that will be equal to 18 divided by 2 so the median is 9 guys thanks for watching we really appreciate you you guys I notice a number of new subscribers welcome Crazy work we plan for putting. Alright guys, welcome. Nothing has started, trust me. I'm out.